Hi guys, it's Miss Green. Welcome to our lesson number eight. In this lesson today, we're going to be learning about definite articles. Ooh, let's see what those are. All right, by the end of this lesson, you will know what a definite article is and you will know how to express them in Spanish and utilize them. All right, guys, let's get started. Okay. A definite article is a word that expresses V. Simple as that. A definite article is a word that expresses V. In Spanish, there are four definite articles. El, la, los, las. Want to try those with me? Repeat after me. El, la, Los, las, wonderful, and they all mean one thing, V. What do they mean, guys? You got it, V. All right, let's look at some examples of how we use these. La mochila, the book bag. You say it. La mochila, can I hear you? Mm -hmm. The book bag. Yes. Now, let's see what happens when we pluralize mochila when we make it more than one. Las mochilas. You say it. Yes, the book bags. You got it. All right, let's do our next one. Repeat after me. El libro. And what does it mean? You got it. The all right, let's do the next one. I'm going to say and you say it. Los libros. The book. You got it. Now, guys, if you notice that when I use mochila, I had to use the definite article la. Why is that? Do you know? Well, it is because Mochila is considered a feminine word. And so words that typically end in A are considered feminine. And so if we have a singular feminine noun, and a noun is a person, place, or finish my sentence, thing, yes. So if we have a feminine noun, we use la to express the. Now, if that feminine noun is plural, we use, we use las to express the. Okay, guys, just take a look at libro. Libro is considered a masculine noun. Typically, nouns that end in O in Spanish are considered masculine. If I have a singular masculine noun, I use the definite article el to express the. Now, if my noun is plural, I use the definite article los to express the. El libro, los libros. Now, let's begin to really work with these. Okay, guys, I'm going to model this for you guys, and then we're going to do, um, we're going to do some together. So I have here the word silla, silla, and it means chair. But you know what? I want to express the chair. I want to say the chair or the chair. Hmm. How would I do that? Would I use el? Would I use la? Would I use los? Or would I use las? Hmm, watch what I do. La silla, the chair. I use la because my word is singular and it's also feminine. All right, now I have another one. Sillas, huh? Same word, but, but it's plural. So, would I use el to say the chairs? Would I use la? 
Would I use los or would I use las? Watch what I do, guys. Las sillas. I'm going to use las because my word is plural, meaning more than one, and it is also feminine. All right, your turn. So let's do it together. We're going to do one together, okay? And then I'm going to actually let you do something all by yourself. All right, so let's, let's team up. Okay, so we have escritorio, and it means desk, but do we just want to say desk right now? Mm -mm. Nope, we don't, right? What do we want to say, guys? I think I heard it. The desk. Hmm, help me out. All right, teamwork. So what are we going to choose? I see your brains thinking. I like that. Okay, I heard el. You know what? You guys are so smart because that is correct. We would use el, el escritorio to express the desk. Okay, guys. Now, what are we going to use for the next one? We have escritorios. And we want to say the desk, plural. Ah, what are we going to say? I love to see your brains, brains moving and working. Okay, great. I think I heard it. We're going to say los escritorios. You got it. That's awesome. We did it, didn't we? All right. And so los escritorios means the desk. Now, why did we choose los? Hmm? We chose los because escritorios is plural, meaning more than one, and it is also masculine. All right, I think we got to hang up this now. So let's keep going. All right, guys, so it is your turn to try it all by yourselves. All right, so. I want you guys to go back and pull out that activity sheet. This is one of your activity sheets in your packet. And you probably already have your, your words in there. You've already, you probably have already moved ahead because you guys are so smart. And, um, and so if you've already written your words in, great. So what I would like for you to do now is go back and put your definite articles in front of each word. I did some in there for you, and I I also did wanted to point out something. So if you would look at the computer, you'll notice that there are two words. Hmm, you're probably saying, why are there two words in there, Miss Green? Well, because in some countries they say computadora, and then some countries they say computador. Hmm. So that I just threw those two words in there. Because every now and then you may see computador or computadora. So if you see either or, you'll know that it's not a mistake. You'll know to just use that word and you can put the correct definite article with it. All right. So that concludes our lesson. Get your activity done. Can't wait to see your work. I love you guys. Miss you guys. All right. Have a great day. Bye-bye.